Good day, farmers. My name is Dr. Princess Musokatu from MSD Animal Health, and you are watching Video Vet. Today, we are going to discuss the importance of long acting tick control. We have different types of ticks, which are your hard ticks and your soft ticks. The hard ticks can be further differentiated into your one host tick, your two host tick, and your three host tick. It is important to know which tick species you are dealing with on your farm because the control measures for the above mentioned tick species will not be the same. You will not control a one host tick in the same manner that you will control a three host tick. Ticks are of importance to you as a farmer because of the financial loss they can cause you. They can transmit tick-borne diseases to your animals, like we earlier spoke of red water, which is a tick-borne disease, and hard water. They can inflict wounds on your animals that may lead to abscesses. They can cause mastitis if they feed on the teat and udder of your animals. They can also cause decrease in production due to irritation and pain. As we have seen what ticks can cause to your animals, the next step we should think of is how we can protect our animals against ticks. There are different methods of tick control which involves the use of chemicals known as acaricides or antiparasitics, or we can use a technical method which involves woodpeckers or chickens. The acaricides or antiparasitics can be applied in a form of a spray dip, a plunge dip, a pour on dip, or an injectable dip. Whatever method you choose to use for tick control on your farm must be suitable for your farm. For your spray raised dipping and plunge dipping, you can use our MSD Animal Health product known as Tactic with Amitraz as an active ingredient. For your pour on, you can use MSD Delete All with Amitraz and Delta Methrin as active ingredients or Avotan Plus Pour On with Abamectin and Fluazeron as active ingredients. For your injectable, you can use solution 3.5% which has ivermectin and abamectin as your active ingredients. Remember farmers, whichever product you decide to use, always be aware of tick resistance on your farm. Thank you for watching. Until next time, let us thrive to make healthier animals together.